Well, hello, Roadster friends. How's everyone this evening? It's a great Tuesday, and we're launching into the week with lots of action going on, lots of action in our store for sure, because we have been crazy busy checking in merchandise from Market. So those of you that have been following along with us know that Michelle and I were in Market. Uh, we were in Dallas uh, for five days this past week, buying for a lot of the whole year, all the way through fall, and a lot of um, current, certainly jewelry uh, product as well. We bought some awesome, <laughs> really awesome, uh, incredible things. Um, some of them you're gonna see this Thursday night when we do the Back Road Treasure Show, which will be live. And that will be hosted on our Facebook pages, both on Stonefeather Road and Stonefeather Road Stirs. And you will also uh, get notifications from us uh, in the next, uh, along the next couple of days. In the meantime, to make sure that you get notifications on our auctions and our back road treasures and various other events and things and specials and launches that we do, we're inviting you all to join um, our text um, messaging um, I guess it would be a, a alerts of sort, although it's really not an alert. It'll just let you know um, minutes before when we go ahead and uh, head towards an auction. Uh, like on Sunday nights, we're going to launch it five minutes or right at when the auction launches, probably five minutes before so you have time to review your bids. And it simply will be a way um, if you, um, uh, on your phone, if you're watching your text messages to let you know that, hey, we're going live and the auction is ready to go. They actually, it's not live on the auctions, but the auction is up and ready for bidding and it's gonna start closing. So it's just a way for us to communicate to you um, so that you don't forget, because you may have a great item that you want. I've heard it many, maybe hundreds, if not dozens of times um, over the last year and a half of people saying, oh, I put a bid in and then I got crazy busy and I stepped away from my phone for a minute or I stepped away for an hour to do something and I forgot to go back to it. So it's just a, a little quick way for us to say we're going live or we're auction time is rolling. And Thursday night for sure it'll be live, we'll go live at six o'clock. But tonight uh, what I wanna do is just give you a quick preview of the auction items for this week. There's 30 awesome items. I think we had a buy now on one or two pieces already, but I don't know what they are. You'll notice it when you go through as you're reviewing uh, the items and it'll give you, um, this item has already been sold via buy now. So first of all, buy now is an option. Buy now means, you know, you love this item, you're comfortable with the price that is the buy now price and you want to take it out of play so no one else can bid on it. That's the buy now. You buy it this moment, uh, tomorrow, anytime before Saturday night. The auction closes on Sunday night, but 24 hours before the auction closes, the buy now is done. So eight o'clock uh, on Saturday night is the last time you can do a buy now, then it's just open bidding all the way through the close of it on at eight o'clock. So uh, buy now is one option. You can bid in increments, which usually the increment bid is 10 to $20 per item. You can raise a bid and pop back and forth with someone else who might be bidding. You might bid early, you might win it. Uh, you just never know. Uh, the third option is that you can put a max bid in. And that's where you put in a bid that is the maximum of what you're willing to go in that moment in time. And you will likely own the bid at that moment. Now somebody may come in and bid against you. And if they do and you still have room on your max bid, then your bid will come back in. Somebody else might bid again and you can come back in with your bid, but the system will bid for you. That's the max bid option. And people have won some awesome items uh, that way as well. So we've made it very user-friendly. If you've never tried it before, go ahead and register. Get your registration done because you don't want to see an item. And then it's in the midst of the last two minutes of the item and you're trying to lock, uh, log in, get a username and a password, and it just isn't going to happen that fast. It takes about somewhere between a minute and five minutes to do because you do have to validate it through your email. So I haven't gone through those um, parameters for quite a long time, but we've had a lot of new people have joined us recently because we've been at a couple shows. So that's how it works. Um, and there's 30 items every single week. So without further conversation on that, let's look at the items for the week. So one of them, and these are in no particular order, you're going to have to kind of just go through and see uh, what the order is online. But this is an awesome, sweet little, this is an in-house design. We did, I don't know, we did maybe a dozen of these and they're really sweet. It's a sweet little choker piece. So it's on leather. Uh, this one's done with an abalone shell, as well as turquoise embellishment on either side of it. It has at least a two, three inch adjustment. And this uh, pretty much is gonna fit any size um, neck. If you have a, a really um, 
longer or wider or uh, fuller neck, uh, you're going to want to check the size uh, parameter on that, on the details uh, when you pre can preview. And you can preview, the, preview these really up close. My light is a little wonky here, but I'll get the best shot I can. That's really pretty. The abalone is a great shell, kind of a rainbow shell. It has all the colors, blues, greens, golds, purples, um, golds, pinks. There's pink in there as well, so really fun. This is a beautiful cluster uh, ring. And this one's going to be about a six, six and a half, I believe. Uh, size six, yep. I guess that one, right? And it's a beautiful blue uh, turquoise. And you can see, I believe this is Kingman, Kingman turquoise. And it's going to be gorgeous on a ring finger. My hands are too big for a ring finger. But you can wear that kind of on any, any finger you want here. Uh, but very pretty, nice size, not too big, not too small. And just a really lovely, lovely, lovely piece. All uh, native made. It is a signed piece that's native made. Uh, quite, quite lovely. Very nice. This is, these earrings, um, I favor these. I love them. You'll see a lot of times I have these hammered and stamped sterling on, really for two reasons. I love the lightweightness of them, and I also love the movement. So that's just an awesome ear. It's got some really interesting texture. Not a real predictable one. It's one that you don't see um, in a predictable concho. It's got a little bit different design, and I just think it has some great movement. It's going to be sweet, um, on the earlobe, whether you have long or short hair. And being that it's um, got that natural oxidized patina, it's really kind of a piece that you're gonna be able to wear with anything. Oh, here, I'm not even showing over here. I'm working off two screens, sorry. Oh, better do it this way, here we go. I'll do a close up here, and I'll do a close up here. We're running on, I'm cheating tonight. I'm doing roadsters and stone feather road at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back here to remember that. Make sure, I don't remember. Did you see over here? You have to holler at me, Paula. Okay, there we go. And that's that sweet little ring. Okay. Now that I see that I was doing that. All right. This is a new spiny oyster cut, which uh, spiny oyster is a shell. It's a beautiful, it comes in a lot of colors. It comes in orange, red, browns, and then it has burnt orange color, varying almost up to a yellow uh, tone and then into light reds to deep reds and then light purples to dark purples. Really a fascinating um, color spectrum and texture to work with. I really love these. These are just a real simple clean line uh, earring that would be just stunning. You know, just as a everyday piece, it's got a little bit of a copper tone, uh, kind of a copper and a melon, a little bit of a brown tone to it. Let's see if we can see color best. Here you go here. I'm gonna go close up here and close up here. Kind of fun, very cool. Sweet piece, uh, or sweet set of earring. This is a tiny, so this one's gonna take a tiny silver chain, and it's a little pendant, uh, kind of a sweet little Valentine Day gift, maybe for one of the smaller peeps in your circle, your circle of love. You gotta start thinking about the circle of love gifts, because those are coming up in about three weeks. This one is a sterling uh, made one uh, with two uh, different uh, pieces of turquoise. Here's there. And here it's got a little floral element and a feather and just a very sweet smaller scale piece. That'll be a fun one as a great gift. Or you could even put it on a pin. It'll be sweet off of a pin. Um, if you have one earring, uh, just one ear pierce, you could actually hook it off of a, a hoop ear, a little ear like this, and it could be a one earring. So lots of fun things. Once you let your mind, let it go, let it be creative. You could put it off of a leather a neck piece, just take a little wire, wrap it, make it a choker. There's a zillion different ways to use or um, get, to use a piece like that. Very versatile. This is uh, one of our in-house, uh, part of our in-house collection. Uh, this is an a item that we just couldn't find. Um, and if we found it in market, it was boring and it didn't have great, uh, what I will call quality turquoise and then the Navajo pearls. And we really wanted a choker piece that you could wear here, here, or here, or clear down into here. So it's like a 14 to 16 inch leeway. This is gorgeous disc turquoise um, and Navajo pearl. So those are all sterling. Um, those are beautiful uh, oxidized uh, sterling beads. Here you can see the larger of the uh, turquoise pieces here and here. But that's a really, um, this is just a great piece. It looks good on everyone. I don't care what age you are, what hair color you have, um, skin tone, anything. This is just really a universal piece and a really, really awesome piece uh, for your uh, collection. This is one of those basics that once you have it, you have it. And it is uh, gonna serve you 
or all days forward and it's a great base piece to build up build off of this is a fun uh, stretch bracelet so it's a wrap one that is a uh, shell it's a beautiful melon shell here I am with my little hand warmers on. It's cold today in Iowa, and I was just outside, so I'm gonna show it to you on this. <laughs> kind of wonky on my little sleeves, my tiny sleeves. But um, it's got turquoise, uh, sterling, uh, little beads, and then this beautiful melon-colored uh, shell. So that's a really fun piece. Those are easy to wear, comfortable to wear, very versatile. Look how pretty it is with this earring. That would be a really beautiful set in the copper tone, and then with the earring, very nice. This is a sweet, a um, little bit smaller scale. I'm gonna show it with this little smaller neck that we have. So this is one of those, this is our little, uh, what millimeter is this? I think this is the two millimeter. Navajo Pearl, this one is the 30 inch, I believe. And here is the look. Okay, just like that, just real simple. Um, that's a nice length that you could wear a lot of different things, or you just wear it on its own. It doesn't even have to be. And I think, I don't think this one you can double wrap. It would be too tight, I believe. Yeah, that would be too tight to double. But the little, um, here it is close. It's kind of a, almost like a Royston ribbon. I can't guarantee that that's the mine it came from, but that's what the Royston ribbon uh, looks like. It's a lot of the other mineral deposit and then some turquoise in it. So really a unique piece. It's all set in really nice sterling. It is a signed piece. It's a native made piece. And again, look online. Cindy has these really close up and they look awesome. When you get to see them close up, I'm gonna, I got my midi warmers on. I got a sweater on, I'm like warm. There we go. Hoorah, there we go, better. Uh, this is a really stunning, uh, this is kind of a, almost, well look at you, if you can see it with my denim, I'm hoping you can see color-wise with denim. It's got a little bit more of a denim and kind of a, a warm uh, golden tone and a black uh, web matrix to it. It is a turquoise stone. I'm gonna pull up tight here. So you can see it on regular Stone Feather Road and here on Roadsters. Let's see if we catch lighting any better. There you go, that's a little bit better. And it's got that beautiful stamp and engraving here. So again, this would be a great one on, you could actually do it on a pretty good, I don't have a bigger Navajo Pearl with me, but just so you can see this um, size and scale, something like this would be awesome. And you could probably go up to a five, six uh, millimeter, maybe even a seven millimeter. Now you probably get a seven millimeter Navajo Pearl off of that. Again, a smaller scale piece, a little more minimalist. Doesn't mean that you could, um, you would have to wear it on its own. You could do it certainly um, as a layerable piece with your other piece as well. Just a smaller, sweet little piece. It might be a beautiful uh, Valentine gift. So think about who are those peeps on your list that need a little sweet accessory piece. This is just a favorite. It's been a favorite in the collection. We continue to do it. We'll continue to do this probably for five years. It's just the greatest piece. It's a little stretch bracelet. It's uh, got, this one has green and blue turquoise and then Navajo pearls it just pops on and it just kind of fits anyone. It looks great layered with other pieces as well. So you, <sighs> you could layer it and I'm gonna show you. Here's another piece that's on the auction is this larger. This is a sterling silver plated. This bracelet runs bigger. So this is not for, like I'm a six and a half wrist. I would go seven, seven and a half and up. Okay, up to an eight, size eight. It's a little too loose for my smaller wrist, but a great piece. And you can see how it layers nice with the little colored, um, the stretch bracelet as well. So that would be a fun piece. You could also do this kind of a layering with these kinds of pieces or just look what the smaller one would do. There's the smaller one with it. Just adds a little more texture. You could do two or three pieces in through there. Just a lot of just uh, fun when you start to layer them up. All right, this is, I love this earring. It's a larger loop. Really, we were kind of excited when we found these. These are like a, a brown heshi bead here. And then we've got a red and orange spiny oyster and then turquoise. So those of you that love hoop earrings, this is an awesome hoop earring. It's got some great colors, some great sway, just really fun. This is cute on people with short hair and or long hair. And again, I'm gonna show a little close up here and a little closer up here. 
Okay. It's a nice set. Very fun. Bigger scale. Big is good. This is a beautiful Naja piece. So this would be awesome on a necklace of this kind of a length. You could go here and you could even go down here. Beautiful turquoise stone. You can see here the beautiful turquoise with the brown matrix. And then it's got coral. So it's red coral and has that really kind of just layered uh, framed shelf uh, appeal here. Real straightforward. There's very clean lines on this. Um, it's just that, I think, a really just a beautiful, strong, really quite lovely piece. Um, if you had a strand of turquoise, you could put turquoise with this. Navajo pearl is always going to look with it, good with it. Um, you can do a bigger or you could do a smaller. It wouldn't, wouldn't really matter. And again, it's going to look beautiful in kind of the mid-range, uh, body range, and it'll be pretty long as well. I'd layer this one, it would be fun. I'd either, if I'd wear it, I would layer it, wear it here, I would layer it with coral or red or Navajo pearls here too. Here, I'd just let it be on its own. It's kind of cool, just as a statement. Really nice, just clean, okay? And let's see, this is a fun piece. This is a, let me see if I can zero in here on some magnifier. This is a retired coin. Oh, if I can see. Origin. Yeah, my eyes aren't good enough. It's a foreign coin. It's uh, the texture on it is awesome. It's got a kind of a bronzed uh, patinaed. It has that kind of aged look by by uh, by rote by result. Really cool. It has a bezel that's been put around it um, in kind of a, a distressed uh, silver color, and then it also has a bezeled. A uh, sweet little gem off of it, but this is this is a little bit of a lobster claw right here, and you can hook it in to any necklace. So it would work into here. It would work into a small um, silver necklace, a small gold necklace, um, anything that that would fit through. Right? I love this piece too. It's really sweet, really cool. So I think that has a really just a nice look at the blue, even how it pops with denim. It's just a nice, it's a good statement piece. It's not overstated, not understated. It's just very nicely stated. So that is a fun one. Buy now on that's 99 bucks. That actually, I could see that selling it buy now because that is a way cool piece. I didn't even think we had this left. I don't know where this surfaced, but when we did inventory, I bet it surfaced from somewhere. This is, um, I have to think of the name on this, stone. But a gorgeous stone, pearl, semi-precious stone, all in bezeled uh, sterling. This is a beautiful piece, really lovely in the warm tones. If you're a warm tone and a summer tone, this would be really gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous stones. It's got moonstone on it. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, pearl and copper tones. There's a green amethyst. There's um, smoky quartz. Uh, looks like citrine. Uh, really pretty, very, very pretty piece and really nice uh, width on the arm. Again, you could layer this with other pieces, but it certainly stands alone. And then look at the beautiful stone in the front, how pretty that is. It just kind of pops and shines. That's a really nice piece. Very pretty, good weight too. Um, I showed you the sweet little Navajo pearl necklace. This, these are just hot, these are just rolling. We are having a problem and challenge keeping them in and I was like, oh, I don't even need to put it in the auction because we're selling out of it. But I like everybody to know we have it and we're ongoing bringing it in. It's just a cool, cool little piece. This is a gorgeous uh, Labradorite. Those of you that have Labradorite in your collection know what an incredibly beautiful stone it is. I want you to see the shine in both cameras here. Um, it's got blues and greens. Uh, it's got yellows, uh, taupes. Uh, oranges. It's just really an incredible stone. If you look up uh, the metaphysical properties and what Labradorite, you know, does for you soulfully, you'll find that it has a lot of um, spiritual qualities as well and uh, metaphysical uh, properties, but a really beautiful stone. I have a couple, I have like four or five chunks of this in the store and everybody wants to touch and <laughs> take those stones home and, the, and rightly so they're really beautiful when the stone cutters cut it right they nail it and there's a lot of it out there that's not as colorful this one happens to be a really magnificent one 
And this bracelet is absolutely adjustable to size. Um, I don't have it fully tightened, but it would go all the way to my six, six and a half wrist. I still don't have it tight, but it also go up to a size eight wrist. So, and it's just a nice size, not too big, not too small. It just really hits kind of in that perfect spot. Beautiful, it's native made and signed, and it's got beautiful stamping and engraving all the way around as well. And let's see if I can read the signature. Usually I cannot, but maybe, no, I can't read it. My eyes are not good enough to zero in on that. This is a fun little uh, vintage ring we bought out of a private collection. It's about a size six. It's um, just a real pretty blue, um, I don't usually like rounds, but I actually do on this. I think it's real clean. It's got great texture. It just has a real nice balance. And it is an irregular stone. It's not that perfectly polished. It's got a little bit of texture to it. I love that about it. So that's a sweet piece. And again, that's a um, Native American and turquoise and sterling. Native American made. This is a favorite. Whenever I find this, um, in market or for sale, I buy it. It's a barrel. This happens to be a three strand barrel necklace, but I bought this in two strands, one strand, three strand, five strands. Anytime we see it, we buy it. We absolutely love it because it's just that beautiful. It is a statement piece on its own, but it's a great um, base piece, uh, layerable piece, excuse me, not base. I'm talking about both. It's both. Okay, so here's where it's going to hit. And you can see it's just really simple, very pretty. Um, the texture on this, which is likely Royston, now it hooks, now I won't be able to get out of it. Oh, I'm leaving it on. Um, is a beautiful brown and uh, kind of a golden color. He, she beads in between. And then those are uh, cut and polished, what would be barrel uh, size turquoise. Um, so just, again, a really nice length and you can layer up beautifully with it. Even look at the Labradorite with it, how pretty Labradorite pulsing. It's got those blue and green tone um, that kind of play off of it. This is uh, one of the crystal collection pieces. This is a group, um, I buy these on and off. I just like them as a sweet little color layer in piece. This one pulls blues and purples really beautifully. If you like amethyst, I think you'd like this. And I think it's a great denim piece. You can see it with my denim uh, shirt. It's just that really versatile, fun little, when you wanna pop a color, something a little more whimsical, uh, that's a really sweet piece to have. Here's kind of a sister to it. This one has Swarovski crystals, and it is in the blues and the clear crystals, and then it has um, kind of a floral, um, one that is not um, in the crystals. That's a really beautiful piece. And look at this sparkle and shine there. That's a cool one. This is a total denim one. Look at here, how it plays to denim. And then again, when you layer it, let's take it in between. See how pretty it is even in between, you know, just other sterling pieces. And when you get the Swarovski crystals, of course, they're popping a ton of color and sparkle and light. But that's a great piece. Look at that close up on the photos on the website. Let's see here. This is a fun one. Uh, this is a magnet, uh, so it's like, couldn't get any easier than that. Holds really nicely, so you don't have to worry about it coming undone. Here's the length it would be. Soft choker, uh, but very pretty. This will be beautiful with um, an open neck, like a V-neck, a U-neck, and even just a you know cross neck. Really just clean, it's black beads, and then all kinds of little turquoise chunks. It's a really nice piece. It would you know, easily sell at the buy now price. It's a very reasonably priced 49 bucks. So that would be a good piece. Unless it's already sold, it could, certainly could have. And then this is, um, I can never remember, Septarian. Septarian is this stone, which is this black and white and brown. We bought, I don't know, maybe 10, 12, 15 sets of these stones. And we did them with different uh, stones up top. We did this with more of a denim blue and then um, on a silver wire. And so just a really, this would be cool if you're wearing denim black and white, this would be a very, very um, spectacular earring to do with denim black and white. Look at the texture here, I'm gonna show you up here. And here, great matrix. Look at those up close in the close-up shots on the, um, the page, the website. 
This has been a favorite, uh, likely. This one will very likely sell as a buy now. Uh, I tried buying more of these the last, and I bought, I just bought a, a, before we left for market, I bought a big buy from this particular source. And this is the ones that do this ring. They had one, one. And it wasn't this one, it was a different one. Uh, I think we have it on Backroad Treasures on Thursday. But um, this is a great ring. It's a completely adjustable. So this back here is free on one end. And so you can adjust it in or pop it out. But look at that. You could wear it as your middle finger. Um, it'll fit whatever your finger size is. So small or big. It's all uh, sterling silver and it's all hand engraved. It has a nice little dome to it. The actual uh, back of the ring is um, engraved as well, but I really love the markings on that. Really beautiful. This is the dot and cross and the uh, turquoise. You maybe have seen me uh, wearing one of these. Um, I, I kind of have been wearing the uh, white pearl one. The turquoise is awesome. When you just do this, look how pretty this combo is and see how that just dances together. Pull in a turquoise earring, done. That's like a, a daily uniform. This kind of coordinates nicely with this square off as well. And the ring's comfortable to wear. It's real thin band on the back. Um, I like the little bit of an arc, so it kind of arcs around a little bit with your finger. Um, and this is all hand done. Every single little dot, you know, is attached, you know, one at a time. It's an amazing artist who does this. There's a whole cuff um, that goes with it. There's a bunch of different cuff options. We actually have a set of this in a ring earring and the cuff on Back Road Treasures without the um, turquoise on the uh, Back Road Treasures on Thursday night. But this one is beautiful and clean. That's probably a size seven, I'm guessing, and a half maybe. About seven and a half, because I'm an eight, eight and a half on my hand, up to a nine. So probably seven, seven and a half. The details will be on the website. This one is a vintage piece, a sweet little vintage ring in uh, coral and turquoise. That is a beautiful, a little smaller scale piece, done very lovely. This would be a great, just comfortable piece to wear. I love the simplicity of that little dot there and there. The balance on it is beautiful. You could move it around, do the red up. I like the red out though. What do you guys think? Red up, red out. I think I like it, the red out. Any comments? Votes? You can vote. I like the red out. I don't know why, but it, things look different. It's like the cowhides when we lay them on the floor. They look way different one direction than the other. So you always want to look at it from both ways. So rings that have a little bit differentiation as well. Same as this one. You could try it this way. This is a red spiny oyster. Or you could flip it around and go this way. So depending on your hand, what finger you're wearing it on. Okay. A little big for my small finger. So imagine it one finger over. It's pretty cool. And a ton of sterling work on that. It's really um, done beautifully. All that etching is all hand cut, hand done, hand finished. Patience, 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 and super amount of talent. So that's a beautiful piece. We have a, um, and I'm not gonna show it to you because everything's on top of it, but there's a beautiful uh, wool blend uh, blanket that is a uh, full size and it's got purples and kind of a turquoise green burgundies browns really a beautiful one um, that you can throw onto a bed in your car uh, over the back of your sofa on a wall uh, probably even a floor you know and a floor that's not you know maybe under your bed kind of coming out from underneath your bed it could, it could play a lot of places you just have to bop you know bop up and open up your imagination but really pretty colors very rich color and then, <coughs> excuse me, we have the running horse. I, I won't go into the horse thing again. Not tonight, maybe another night. <laughs> I have to be about an hour and a half in before I start going into the crazy, <laughs> the crazy stories. But those of you that follow us know that I love the running horses. And this is a, an incredible artist out of California that we love. And these are all hand painted individually, fired. Uh, she just does an incredible job. I've met her in person. Um, our biggest challenge is, is it just takes forever to get product from her because she's busy and her pieces are sought after. So uh, my goal somewhere in the next year or two is to have a whole um, place setting um, for my dining table in all this because I love the running horses. 
So this would be a, just a great little um, trivet tray, uh, a little small one to put, you know, to, when you're serving something uh, small and tiny. This just has great color. So that is, have I missed anything? I miss nothing. That's all 30 of the items minus the blanket, which you can look at online. And again, this auction will start to wrap up Sunday night at 8 p.m. Um, text your text to the number 844-904-3359. And if you, uh, I believe I put it in the message line, but if I didn't, go to our uh, Facebook page and just scroll down and you'll see the option to text in or go to our website. And I think the option there is the number is there. And you can uh, text ROAD, R-O-A-D, to it. It'll pop back to you and you will be officially registered um, to, we will remind you that it's a reminder connection is for us. Uh, from us to you. Reminder, auction time. Um, and that's what we will do on Sunday night about five minutes before the auction starts. It'll give you a little alert. And um, you can uh, then go ahead and take a look at the bids that you have in play or take a look and say, I want to play and put a bid in. Um, so with that, the um, last thing I'll leave you with is one more for those of you that joined us late um, in this live show is we will launch our ninth or 10th, I should know, I want to say 10th, but it could be ninth, ninth or 10th Back Road Treasure Show. It'll start at six o'clock this Thursday, so two, two nights from tonight. Uh, again, if you've opted into our little reminder with the text, we will remind you um, right around when the show is starting. It will be 100 items. will be at 30% off of retail. Um, there's some stunning, 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 stunning. I just went through the whole collection with Cindy today, and she put it in order. Um, some really beautiful pieces ending in an, um, an amazing, amazing piece. The final uh, piece of the show is worth uh, looking at uh, among the other 100 pieces that are in it or so, 80 to 100. I think it's almost 90. Nonetheless, a bunch of them will be two to two and a half hours uh, live. It will be running both on uh, regular Stone Feather Road page as well as Roadsters. We'll run it concurrently. And on that show, uh, you do have to register uh, and connect up to the software. It's called Comet Sold. Um, so we have lots of registering. I hate that. I mean, not everything comes in one format. I suppose in 10 years or five years or one year, for all we know, we'll be able to connect all that and you can have one login to five different formats. Wouldn't that be a, a gift or not? Who knows? But um, you do need, uh, that is a little different than our auction format. Our auction, again, is hosted on our website. The Back Road Treasures, which will be on Thursday night, is hosted on the two uh, Facebook uh, platforms that we use, which are Stonefeather Road and Stonefeather Roadsters. Stonefeather Roadsters is a group that you can join um, on occasion. We launch different things on different formats, post different pictures on different ones. You know, one goes, it, sometimes we do it the same. So there's advantages on being on both if you want to be. Uh, if you want to be just on one, we're likely to um, be able to uh, let you know um, on one or the other if we're running on the opposite. Well, I'm going to talk myself into being crazy on that one. But <laughs> you are going to want to join us on Thursday night and um, go ahead and sign up. Uh, the All you have to give is your name and address and phone number and email. We don't ask for a credit card. You have your own cart um, that items, if you say sold, number 101, then that item will automatically go into your cart before someone else grabs it. Now, the advantage of that is... Uh, those of you that follow us, you know that we do one-of-a-kind items. Most everything is a one-of-a-kind. Once in a while, we'll have a replicated. You know, this is a replicated. This is a replicated. There's some things that we do, but not many. Maybe 10% of our collection has a replication. It's authentic, but we do it uh, same design. Mostly, it's one-of-a-kind. So if you miss it, it's gone. So thus, you know, saying sold in the number, it goes into your cart at the end of the show you review your cart uh, make your final decisions pay it we go ahead and print a packing slip and a label uh, via ups or usps whichever you designated and it's out the door to you the next day that's how slick it is and we got an a team to accommodate you on that all right so with that um i'm gonna close i'm gonna go home i know bella's cooking tonight and um, Sony is already home, so it's just me. I have to get there and warm my truck up because it's cold out. So thank you, friends. Happy day. 
and have an awesome evening. We'll be talking with you probably tomorrow. I got some things to show you um, apparel wise that are long overdue that we need to do because in two more weeks we hit the road again. So lots to show you before we leave um, for San, uh, San Antonio. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Peace and light.